Okay, the next stage of the analysis um, is the volumetrics, and it's in the volumetrics where we have a look at what the data needs um, are for the proposed system. So we need to work out and estimate all the data that's going to be stored, how many records are going to be stored, and then in turn how many bytes of storage are required. Okay, so we've got different data types uh, that we studied at AS. We've got the short, which is a whole number, and this ranges from minus 32,768 to positive 32,767, and this requires two bytes of storage. We've got an integer. An integer is a whole number, and this can, this has a much larger range. So if we've got numbers larger than 32,767, it has to be an integer. Integers require four bytes of storage. Single, used for our decimal numbers, these require four bytes of storage. String. For strings, it's one byte per character. So however many characters we estimate, it's one byte per character. So if we have um, a name and we expect somebody's name to be no larger than 20 characters, we'd estimate that the name field would be 20 bytes. The last one we will use is a boolean. And a boolean, which gives us true or false, is 2 bytes. OK, so they're the storage that we would require. When we start looking at the volumetrics then, imagine that we're storing information about uh, about a person. So a person may have a title, a person may have a first name, a person may have a surname, and a person may have a date of birth. Now all of these could be stored as strings. A title We've got Mr, Miss, Mrs, uh, at most we'd have four characters. So therefore this will be four bytes. First name, like we said earlier, this could be up to 20 characters. And so then in turn this could be 20 bytes. Surname, we could go for similar and say this could be 20 characters and so because this is a string again this could be 20 bytes. A date of birth if we write it in the format of the 3rd of the 1st 1995 we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 we've got 10 characters so 10 bytes. So if that is our full information that we want to store of a person for this example the total bytes would be 54 bytes per record. So if that's 54 bytes per record, how many people do we expect to store data about? And in the system, imagine that there are, say, 800 new people that get added per year. So, if we say records, if we looked at per year, and this was 800, then to work out the total size, or the total data requirements per year, we would do 800 times 54. which gives us 43,200 bytes. Now as we know there are 1024 bytes equals 1 kilobyte. So to get the file estimation of forty three thousand two hundred into kilobytes we take forty three thousand two hundred we divide this by one oh two four and this gives us forty 
42.1875 kilobytes or rounded up 42.19 kilobytes so we can estimate that that person details the person information per year is going to take 42.19 kilobytes so over five years this will be five times 42.19 if we times it by the original value of 42.1875 then we do not lose precision and this gives us 210 0.94 kilobytes over the lifetime of the program. So that is what we do on the volume metrics. We must estimate the total number of records we're going to use, but also the size. So we need to work out what information is stored. Now we can look at this in relation to MIA's. If we look at one of MIA's order forms, we can see there that the date is recorded so this would be a string of 10 characters and so therefore we've got 10 bytes for the date per order the order is taken by we need to store the company name the company address the company postcode the product code the product description this continues then with the product price which goes off the screen and the total price and we need to complete this, 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 this and this as well as the other parts for every order line that they produce so really if a company may on average take five order items per order we need to take that into consideration with the volumetrics so the company name we could estimate that that might be up to 40 characters the company address could take up to a hundred characters company postcode up to eight characters product code are three characters product description could be up to 20 and so on we start to look at the that this could be repeated so this here could be repeated in this case three times so we've got 40 plus 100 140 148 151 171 not even leaving the rest off 171 times three order lines and you're starting to get to a lot of estimations how many orders do Mears take a day? it's 300 orders a day so this is one of the things that we do have to estimate. I'm going to leave that at the MIAs and this is something that I would like you to look at and add the volumetrics into your MIAs systems analysis. One last thing, this is a way that we could set this out. So in your analysis you could set out as a series of tables like this um, where we give what the field name is here we list the field names down the maximum number of characters goes here and we estimate then the total number of bytes for each field here with the total bytes per record how many records we expect to use altogether and therefore how much storage when you've calculated the total bytes you'll then need to calculate this in kilobytes and if you need to megabytes what you would need to do is to do one of these for each stores of data so in terms of MIAs one for the order form one for the menu and one for the delivery note okay